Breaking news. This is truly unbelievable. New IGP of police wants SARS back, says the disbandment of SARS has created a vacuum in the police force. Now, we are all aware of what happened 2020, precisely in the month of October. How Nigerian youth stood up with one accord and says, it's enough. There is no system that gives us opportunity to be able to report police abuse. What is going on in this country is even beyond abuse. If there's any word or any name we can use, it's gone beyond abuse. The police units are doing A, B, C, D, Z, and there are evidences. And so Nigerian youths had to cry out, so much so that it led to lekki, that some people lost their life. Yet the federal government of Nigeria keep oppressing the youths. That's a matter for another day. The new IGP of police is a very brutal person, the same of the Fulani regime, coming to the south because as he has, since he started the work, his base has been in the south. In the north that they kidnap people every day, we've not heard the police walking. Okay? The police have not been there. Their presence has not been felt. So much so that in Niger State, um, youths burned down police station because they were so angry that... 12 people were kidnapped from their, um, from their uh, uh, vicinity. And these uh, kidnappers came, not that the people were traveling on the road, though, going from house to house. They operated over one hour, 30 minutes. The place they were operating on was less than 10 minutes to the police station and the army barrack. Nobody showed up. You want to tell me nobody called the police or the army for one hour, 30 minutes, and they did not show up. The youths were so angry, they burned down the police station vehicles, and we get, guess what? We did not hear anything of that. But in the South, the case is different. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. New IGP of police wants SARS back, says the disbandment has created vacuum in the police force. Acting Inspector General of Police, IGP Akali Husman Baba, Yesterday said the disbandment of the special anti-robbery squad, SARS, has created a vacuum in the efforts of the Nigerian police to tackle insecurity in the country. Lamenting that the aftermath of NSAS protests has deepened the morale of personnel. He said the regular policemen and women have not been able to immediately fill the vacuum created by the disbandment of the SARS, even though he said efforts are ongoing to train them for the new role. Speaking at the briefing organized by the presidential communication team at the presidential villa in Abuja, the police boss also said some, alla some al alleged sponsors, financiers of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB and the Eastern Security Network have been arrested. You know what they are doing now? They are arresting people left, right, and center, both people that are sincerely involved and those who are not. Everybody now is a suspect in Imo State, especially if you are not for hope. Ah, this is not a good time for you. If you don't like the governor, you are in a very, you are not in a good position. Let me not uh, escalate it more than it is already. I don't want to put fear in your heart. If you have spoken about Governor Hope before, it is because you are with IP, uh, IPOBs. Uh -huh. And guess what? They will send the police after you. It's not a, it's what it is. Let's continue. Beside the IGP said no fewer than 1,166 high-profile suspects have been arrested nationwide between April and May 2021, as well as those who attacked Governor Samuel Otom of Benway State recently. The IGB said the police are looking at the involvement of suspected IPOBs, ESN sponsors in their custody and those outside the country, adding that after a thorough investigation, they will be arraigned in court. He also said the police has recorded successes against sectioners, uh, sectioners from the south. They sent Tinubu to go and address his own people. And so Tinubu has called his loyalists. L listen, guys, not all APC members are loyal to Tinubu, in case you're not aware. And so you can tell that some of them were not in that meeting. Some of them were, not, were unavoidably not involved in that meeting because, I mean, it is what it is. And then they were not present and they could not be present, you know. So this is what is happening. And, uh, you know. It's in the south, he said they've also succeeded for those who want to section the country. Now, listen, guys, sectioning the country is personal 
is your personal uh, observation what you think you want and you don't want that to continue you are not happy and you believe that the country dividing will be the best opinion is not a call for an arrest no you have not done anything that is treason in that case you have an opinion, you have a different idea. So long as you are not destroying lives and property, you are not affecting or, or endangering any life or doing anything negatively. It's something worth listening to. It's something where the government can have a discussion and say, what is the cause of your grievances? What can we do? Do you think we have failed? How do we come in? What can we do? What, do you, what, are, you, what are your expectations? Have we met those expectations? If not... Where do you come in? How can you help us? In that way, you gain the trust, the heart of the people who will forever stay and remain with you. By doing that alone, you have given yourself a very good merit, a very good credit before the very said people who will in turn stand with you, defend you, and you will have no problem. You know, people see critics as a very bad set of people. They're always criticizing me. No, take a seat back and pay a bit of attention. Look at what these critics are saying. Could there be some truth in it? Then you need to make some amends. If not, there is a place where you don't allow the words of your critics to overshadow you so much so that you are governed and controlled by their words. However, critics makes you see your blind spot. And if you pay attention, a time will come. They, they will not be able, I repeat, to see any fault in you. Because by their constant critic, criticism of you, you, they have given you a position and a place for you to be able and adequately able to now put yourself and thoughts together. You know, you've worked on those parts that they keep com complaining about. A time will come. There will be absolutely and if completely nothing that they can say or do about or against you. And guess what? It's a win-win case for you. You've actually won them over and they will not be what? Your friends. So you going around to arrest those who do not believe in your ideology and you think that is the way, the word is used there is called oppression. You are actually under their own fundamental right, oppressing them. If there's reason for sectioning and these people, this is the reason they are calling for that sectioning. Have you adequately and thoroughly investigated why they want, why they think in that way? Could something be done? If you have absorbed or option and nothing is done, then somebody can say you've tried. Leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.